What's up YouTube, what's you here? So happy Comic-Con week. Comic-Con has officially started today. So make sure to subscribe and check out all my socials, my Instagram and my Twitter and my YouTube community tab to keep up to date with all the videos and all the news. So Shazam footage leaked a couple of days ago, although it was potato quality. quality. So at Comic-Con, we will be seeing 100% the Aquaman trailer. They've dropped so much information this week via Entertainment Weekly and other publications so they're going full ball with their promotion for Aquaman well they should do because they've got hefty competition with the Bumblebee movie and the Mary Poppins movie coming out the same week around Christmas to be honest they've started advertising it a bit late since it comes out in December so it's still unclear if the public are going to get to see the Shazam trailer although the film's cinematographer did confirm there will be an act Shazam trailer shown at Comic-Con. It is unclear if it will be released online. If it doesn't, only a select group of people there will get to see it. But some of the featurette Shazam footage has made its way online and we're going to talk about it in just a little bit. But what is interesting is I don't really think it's even going to be a fully fledged, fledged trailer because the movie doesn't come out till April. It's too far away to release a proper trailer. The Shazam suit is on display at Comic-Con, which is pretty awesome. So what was leaked online was the following. One of the scenes that is shown is the first photo from Shazam coming to life. Levi's Shazam and Jack Dylan's greater Freddie Freeman enjoy their soda in the footage. While the concert art for this scene teases Shazam stopping a robbery, moments before Levi looks to be having a great time on set, even recreating a famous scene from Tom Hanks' movie Big, which is a film which is a film that has often been linked to as a whole. Freeman is in the footage quite a bit and typically shown interacting with his super human alter ego of Billy Batson. Asher Angel, the second clip, actually shows Angel say the magical word, but it doesn't appear to be his voice thanks to dubbed. Thankfully, Angel's already let fans hear him say the phrase, which is pretty cool. The second footage holds a few teasers of the villain of the movie, played by Mark Strong, aka Dr. Savannah. He's shown pushing police officers to the side in what appears to be the same scene from earlier set photos. There's an even greater quick shot of Shazam throwing a punch at Savannah, appearing to stop it with his own hand. However, Doctor is hardly the focus for the future as it does a good job of establishing the tone and the look of Shazam even with the bad quality dubbing voice. Yeah, it's in like some other foreign language. I'm not going to put it due to copyright strike, but it's potato quality. But I don't actually think we're going to get like a trailer at Comic-Con. I think it would just be this clip in like HD if they do decide to release it online. But what's more interesting is an image appeared this week courtesy of Entertainment Weekly of Billy Batson and Freddie Freeman giving us a clue at, as where Shazam was in the timeline. Is he part of the DC Extended Universe, which is now called the DCU? First off, there's a Batarang sitting in the middle. Whether this is a real one or a replica, it's immediately identifiable that Ben Affleck used it. On top of that, there's a Batman action figure that appears to be based on the version of the Cape Crusader. There was also a snapback featuring the DCEU's version of the House of Elf symbol. Why else would they specifically have versions of the iconic symbol stacking there? Stacking with Superman just behind Freddy's head there is a clipping from the Daily Planet and you can just about make out that it says man is back. So clearly this is saying Superman is back based on Superman returning Just League. So this could place Shazam movie directly after Steppenwolf's pathetic attempt of taking over and terraforming Earth. So it's quite interesting because I presume the Aquaman movie and Shazam movie will set the tone for the DCEU or I believe it's called the DC Universe going forward now and obviously the Wonder Woman movie as well. So it's going to be quite an interesting week for DC Universe, DC Comics and everything related with DC. It's just going to be interesting. Are we going to get to see a proper Shazam trailer or is it just going to be a featurette? Because if it is, people are sadly going to be disappointed. But that is what I can make out to the best of my ability by freeze framing the leaked trailer. Well, 
featurette, I guess you could say, of what actually is going on. But like always, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment. I will keep you up to date with all the latest and greatest DC and Marvel news coming straight out of you from San Diego Comic-Con. So I will catch you in another video soon. Catch ya later.